Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to update Realtek HD audio drivers on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. You might want to do this to solve problems with your audio devices, including headphones, microphones, and more. You may also want to check for driver updates to see if there are any features you are missing, for example, when trying to customize some settings. You shouldn't need drivers to work, as they will be already installed, but it might be worth checking to see if you are up to date or not, if you are having problems. Remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the methods. We'll start by using the automatic Windows tool to try and update our drivers. To do this, first head to the device manager. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. When the device manager opens, look for the section called Sound, Video and Game Controllers, and double click on it to expand it. In here, look for the name Realtek High Definition Audio and double click on it to open the Properties window. Now go to the Driver tab, which should be the second option. In here, find where it says Update Driver and click on that. Now choose the Automatic option, which should be the top option of the two available. If there are any drivers that Windows finds, it should install them automatically. However, it might say that the best drivers are up to date. If you want, you can click on search for updated drivers on a Windows update. If you need help installing a Windows update, click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine focusing on that. We can also try updating the drivers using the manual method. Click on update driver again from the properties window, and this time choose browse my computer for drivers. On the next page, choose let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Now you should see a list of drivers, Make sure the box is checked next to where it says Show Compatible Hardware. After checking this, it should leave just two drivers. Select the one called Realtek High Definition Audio, and then click Next. Allow it to install the driver, it shouldn't take too long. Once it has finished, click on Close. If your device doesn't work or you are encountering problems after updating the drivers, try rolling back the driver update. To do this, go back to the Device Manager and find Realtek High Definition Audio on the list again, and then double click on it, go to the Driver tab, choose Rollback Driver, and then follow the steps. We can try and update the drivers with another method. This method is to download and install the driver updates from the internet. Remember that I'm not responsible if for some reason the installation doesn't complete correctly, or you download the wrong file. Head to the link in the description, this is the official Realtek website downloads page. When the page loads, find the drop down box next to where it says product line. It should be the furthest right option. Select computer peripheral ICs from the list, and then let the page update. When the next page loads, it should say computer peripheral ICs at the top. Again, find the product line drop down box, and this time choose PC audio codex, and let the next page load. You should now be on the PC Audio Codex page. For the final time, click on the drop down box and choose High Definition Audio Codex. There should be three options left on the list. Click on the top one where it says Software next to it, although they should all take you to the same page. When the next page opens, you need to make sure you choose the correct file to download. This will depend on your PC and operating system. You'll most likely need to get the Windows 10 64-bit version, which is currently the third one down for me in the Windows section. Click on the download icon to the left of the name to go to the download page. Accept the terms, enter your email, and then click on download this file. It's worth mentioning the text it says on here, as you might need to download drivers from your motherboard manufacturer's website as well. You will need to complete the capture on this page to begin the download. Once the download has completed, click on it to open it. Click yes on the user account control screen, and then the installation should begin automatically. Click on next, and then next again, and it should uninstall the current driver. You now need to choose when to restart your PC. You can do that now or later, but it needs to be done in order to complete the uninstall process. And a quick mention, you will have to restart once more after this a bit later. Make sure you have your work saved and restart now, and then return to the video for the rest of the installation. As soon as your PC loads after restarting, the installation window should open automatically. Click on Next and the installation of the driver should begin. Wait for this to complete, 
and then you will need to restart again to complete the installation. Choose when to restart and once again feel free to return to the video for the final few things. After restarting again, you shouldn't need to do anything, but there are a few last things to mention. There is one other way to check for and install driver updates. This is to download and install automatic driver update software. This software will help with updates for all kinds of drivers on your PC automatically. I'll leave a link to a video in the description showing you how to install that software and get the latest drivers. And so that is how to update Realtek HD audio drivers on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. Help support the channel by visiting the store, the link is in the description and at the end of the video. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.